today's topic calculation of opening capital fund like as you know that a business cannot survive without a capital and say and we also has a opening capital fund now what is opening capital fund it is the capital fund of the previous year or the amount of capital that is invested in npo like as we discussed earlier that opening capital fund or capital fund is compulsory in every kind of business generally the amount of capital fund is given to you in the numerical but sometimes it is not given to you then how you will calculate the opening capital fund so here in this video we will going to discuss that how we will calculate the amount of capital fund if the opening capital fund is not given balance sheet in the beginning of the year is prepared it is prepared by taking the opening cash and bank balance as given in the receipt and payment account other assets and liabilities are given in the additional information it is prepared as a working note to determine the opening capital balance of a capital fund difference between the assets and liability is a capital fund look if the opening capital fund is not given to you then first you have to make a opening balance sheet now what is opening balance sheet it is a balance sheet that is linked with the previous year next how will you make that opening balance sheet first you have to take the opening cash and bank balance that is given to you in the receipt and payment account after that you will post the assets and liabilities that are linked with the previous year in the opening balance sheet after posting all the previous year information in the opening balance sheet now next step is just to take a difference and the difference between the assets and liabilities is known as capital fund it is the opening balance sheet that is linked with the previous year at the first you will have to write down the cash and bank balance that is given to you in the receipt and payment account of the previous year not the current year okay after writing that balances next move on to the assets and liabilities information and the balances and the balances of assets and liabilities of a previous year is written in this balance sheet and after posting all the information that is linked with the previous year the last step is just to take a difference and the difference between assets and liabilities is known as capital fund that is your balancing figure let's clear with the numerical the information related to receipt and payment account and additional information both are given to you and from these information we will have to prepare the opening balance sheet and as well as the closing balance sheet opening balance sheet balance sheet as on 1st 4 2017 and second closing balance sheet balance sheet as on 31st march 2018 now the opening balance sheet is always linked with the previous year it means all the information related to previous year is recorded in the opening balance sheet and on the opposite side the closing balance sheet is linked with the current year and future year it means the information related to current year and future year are posted in closing balance sheet first we will have to make the opening balance sheet because from this balance sheet we will calculate the capital fund and that opening capital fund is posted in a closing balance sheet but here i am going to prepare both balance sheet in a combined way so at the first the opening bank balance is 120000 it is written on a opening balance sheet bank balance is 120000 information related to income and expenditure account are ignored because in this numerical we just have to prepare the opening and closing balance sheet so subscription and sale of bonds are ignored next again purchase of bonds and sundry expense are both are ignored next the investment by investment again you know that it is a capital expenditure so it is written in a balance sheet the question arises that the amount of investment that is 1 lakh is related to previous year or related to a current year for the answer of this question you will have to look on the additional information from that information you will come to know that the particular investment amount is related to current year or previous year and in this information the amount of investment is not given means that this investment is belong to a current year because the first reason being that we don't have its opening balance and the second reason is that it is appear in the recipient payment account of 2018 that is why it is posted in a current year balance sheet on the asset side okay so at the first we will write out investment amount 1 lakh next we will have the cash balance cash at bank balance amount to be 1 lakh 
eleven thousand. And it is the closing balance that is belong to a current year. That is why it is posted in a current year balance sheet. Bank balance will be one lakh eleven thousand. Next, look at the additional information. First, we have the furniture, and its opening balance is four thousand, and closing balance is nine thousand. Again, opening balance is that is linked with the previous year. That in two thousand seventeen, you have a furniture of rupee four thousand. Again, it is belong to previous year. That is why it is posted in a previous year balance sheet. Again, furniture it is your asset. That is why asset side we write down furniture and amount four thousand. And the closing balance of furniture is belong to current year, means 2018. That is why it is posted in a current year balance sheet, means closing balance sheet. Furniture amount to be nine thousand. Outstanding subscription as on first four 2017. Means in 2017 the amount of subscription to be twenty thousand is still outstanding. It and it belongs to 2017 year. That is why it is posted in a opening balance sheet, and on which side? On the on the liability side. Outstanding subscription will be twenty thousand. And next, outstanding subscription as on thirty first March two thousand eighteen. It means in two thousand eighteen, the amount of rupee fifteen thousand that is linked with the subscription is still outstanding. It means it is again written on a up closing balance sheet. On the liability side, outstanding subscription amount to be fifteen thousand. Next, outstanding rent as on first four seventeen. It means in two thousand seventeen, the amount of rent of rupee five thousand was outstanding. Again, it is belong to a previous year. That is why it is written on a written in a previous year balance sheet. Outstanding rent amount to be five thousand. Outstanding rent as on thirty first March two thousand eighteen. Again, it is belong to your current year. Let us say simply it is posted in your closing balance sheet. Outstanding rent amount to be eight thousand. Next, the opening balance of your machine is ninety thousand. It means in two thousand seventeen the balance of your machine was ninety thousand. It is belonged to your previous year. Let us say it is posted on your opening balance sheet. Machine B of rupee ninety thousand. And the next. The machinery as on thirty first March two thousand eighteen. It means in two thousand eighteen, you have machinery amounted to be nine thousand. Again, it is your closing balance. That is why it is you posted on a closing balance sheet. Machinery of rupee nine thousand. At last, you have outstanding creditors as on first four seventeen. It means in two thousand seventeen, there was a balance of rupee nine thousand against your creditors. It is belonged to your previous year. That is why it is posted in your Previous year balance sheet on a liability side. Outstanding creditors will be nine thousand, and the creditors balance as on thirty first March two thousand eighteen is will be two thousand, and it is your closing balance. That is why it is posted in a closing balance sheet. Outstanding creditors amount to be two thousand, and the last we have that outstanding rent which has not opening balance but which has. Closing balance and the balance of your outstanding salary as on thirty first March two thousand eighteen is rupee six thousand. Again, it is belong to your current year. That is why it is posted in your current year balance sheet. Outstanding salary rupee six thousand. After posting all this information, first we will move the opening balance sheet, and from this balance sheet we will calculate the opening balance opening capital fund by taking the difference between assets and liabilities, and The difference between assets and liabilities is one lakh eighty thousand, and the total of your balance sheet is two lakh fourteen thousand. Now this amount of capital fund amounted to be one lakh eighty thousand is posted in your closing balance sheet. On the same side, capital fund will be one lakh eighty thousand. After posting the amount of opening capital fund, now the last step is just to match your balance sheet. The balance of your closing balance sheet is not matched because in this numerical we are just practicing that how we will prepare the opening and closing balance sheet. Okay. And apart from this, we also don't have a complete complete information. But when you are doing a complete numerical, then your balance sheet is automatically matched. 
the main point that the calculation of your opening capital fund is shown in the working note. So simply you just have to remember when preparing opening balance sheet you will have to make sure that the balances of your previous year is posted in opening balance sheet and the balances of your current year and future year is posted in your closing balance sheet. Any kind of balance that is linked with your previous year are posted in your your opening balance sheet and any kind of balance that is linked with your current year and future year are posted in your closing balance sheet. Closing balance sheet is prepared just to calculate the capital fund and 